Agent Force Sales Coach is a great tool for leveling up your sales reps and improving their interactions with potential clients. But how do you know if your org can support Sales Coach? And how do you set it up? In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to manage Agent Force user licensing. I have open here a simple demo org uh, that has been set up and enabled for Agent Force. If you navigate to your company information page in setup, you'll be able to see whether your org is currently set up with Einstein agent user licensing. As we can see here, this org has 600 total licenses uh, with one use. These licenses will be important to use agent for sales coach as each sales coach will need one license to operate. If you do not have this licensing in your org, reach out to your Salesforce AE to help get you set up. Once we have verified that we have available licensing, we can navigate to this Agent Force Sales Coach wizard. For the sake of today's videos, we'll be looking at step two and three to create a Sales Coach agent user and grant access. The process of creating a user for a sales coach is fairly simple and similar to creating a user for just another employee in your company. I've created here a user with the title sales coach, assigned them an email with an Elias, and most importantly, given them the user license of Einstein agent with the profile Einstein agent user. If your org has user licensing, these should be available licenses and profiles to use. So that will satisfy the requirements for step two. Looking at step three, we will need to assign permission sets to a few different sets of users. The first permission set goes to the sales coach user itself. Here under permission set assignments, you will search for and assign the agent force sales coach permission set. This will make sure your sales coach bot has access to the objects it needs to be able to run its actions properly. Once that's been set up, we'll come over to Quentin engineer. By day, he's a system admin, but by night he manages sales coach agents. What this permission set does is allows Quentin and whoever else it's assigned to to go into the settings on your agents and manage their details, the actions they're able to perform, as well as create templates for how they respond. The final set of users are the sales coach users themselves. Everyone that you want to be able to access your sales coach will need to be assigned to the agent force sales coach user permission set. This permission set is simple. It just allows users to interact with your sales coach bot. Thank you so much for, for following along. And as always, if you have further questions, please leave a comment below.